Hi, this is Scott Hanselman, and I'm taking a look at Visual Studio 2013. Uh, specifically in this video, Browser Link. Browser Link's pretty cool. Uh, I've got my little application here in, uh, in IE. Let me just take Visual Studio and I'll just snap it up against the side and I'll snap IE over on the side here. And uh, let's just make sure this app is running. There we go. So Visual Studio knows that it's running right now. And you can see I ran it in Internet Explorer, although I could pick uh, dailies of Firefox or Chrome or whatever makes me happy. And uh, if I hover over this, though, it says one browser connected. We're actually connected to Visual Studio using JavaScript and SignalR from within this browser. If I bring up Chrome, so there's Chrome plus IE, and you can see that they're both connected. Now you see it says this is a new title. We'll change that title. And I'm just going to hit refresh. And you'll notice that it actually refreshes both of those. It pushed the refresh over JavaScript and over this two-way connection, over web sockets or whatever bi-directional technique that SignalR is using in this case, and updated both of these browsers. Browser Link, though, isn't just doing refresh. Browser Link is actually extensible. There's things that you could potentially plug in. So Mads Christensen and the folks that work on VS Web Essentials at vswebessentials.com, and you can go and download that, have added Browser Link extensions. You can even write these extensions yourself. So if I go to the Browser Link dashboard, you can see we've got Chrome and Explorer connected. I could refresh one individually. But I could also take Chrome, for example, and put that into inspect mode. And as I hover around on different elements, notice it's actually selecting them just like we saw in the page inspector video. But even more, I could say design mode. See where it says sale? I'm just going to click in the browser itself. Say buy this. Now I'm typing. I want to make sure you're clear where the cursor is. I am typing in Chrome in the browser surface. And that is now being sent over to Visual Studio and then saved in my HTML file here. That really just scratches the surface of kind of the stuff that we could do. We're working on all sorts of experiments like recording actions, pulling style updates in from the CSS DOM, and whatever else that you can possibly imagine. Uh, Browser Link is going to be an open API, and I hope that lots of people create Browser Link extensions that will show up in the Browser Link dashboard, including ones that we haven't even thought about. So that's Browser Link in Visual Studio uh, 2013. Thank you.